Our gathering hymn number 445, We Walk by Faith. We walk by faith and not by, by sight. sight. Your gracious, gracious words we hear of him who spoke <coughs> as none has spoke, but we believe him near. We may touch his hands and side, nor follow where he trod, yet in his promise we rejoice, <coughs> and cry, my Lord and God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today is the memorial of Saint Nipper Sarah, priest of our church. So that we may be worthy to celebrate this Mass, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by your ineffable mercy have been pleased through the labors of your priest, St. Junipero Serra, to count many American peoples within your church, grant by his intercession that we may so join our hearts to your love as to carry always and everywhere before all people the image of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 
A reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. He called to him, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Then God said, take your son Isaac, your only one whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him up as a burnt offering on a height that I will point out to you. Early the next morning, Abraham saddled his donkey, took with him his son Isaac, and two of his servants as well, and with the wood that he had cut for the burnt offering, set out for the place of which God had told him. On the third day, Abraham got sight of the place from afar. Then he said to his servant, both of you stay here with the donkey while the boy and I go on over yonder. We will worship and then come back to you. Thereupon, Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and laid it on his son Isaac's shoulder while he himself carried the fire and the knife. As the two walked on together, Isaac spoke to his father Abraham. Father, he said. Yes, son, he replied. Isaac continued, Here are the fire and the wood, but where is the sheep for the burnt offering? Son, Abraham answered, God himself will provide the sheep for the burnt offering. Then the two continued going forward. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. Next, he tied up his son Isaac and put him on top of the wood on the altar. Then he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham. Here I am, he answered. Do not lay your hand on the boy, said the messenger. Do not do the least thing to him. I know now how devoted you are to God, since you did not withhold from me your own beloved son. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram caught by his horn in the thicket. So he went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering in place of his son. Abraham named the site Yahweh Yire. Hence people now say, on the mountain the Lord will see. Again the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declared the Lord, that because you acted as you did mm -hmm. in not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the star of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants shall take possession of the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants all the nation of the earth shall find blessing. All this because you obey my command. Abraham then returned to his servants and they set out together for Beersheba, where Abraham made his home. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Responsorial Psalm, I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory, because of your kindness, because of your truth. Why should the pagans say, where is their God? I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he will, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of man. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. They have mouths, but speak not. They have eyes, but see not. They have ears, but hear not. They have noses, but smell not. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Their maker shall be like them, 
everyone who trusts in them. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. After entering the boat, Jesus made the crossing and came into his own town. And their people brought to him a paralytic lying on a stretcher. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. At that, some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. Jesus knew what they were thinking and said, Why do you harbor evil thoughts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, Rise and pick up your stretcher and go home. He rose and went home. When the crowd saw this, they were struck with awe and glorified God who had given such authority to man. The Gospel of the Lord. In one of the most Meaningful healing that Jesus did was the healing of the paralytic, which is portrayed in our gospel this morning. Jesus heals the man who has been paralyzed in the years of his life. But there is somewhat uniqueness in his healing. It is not just simply Jesus said to him, you are healed or your faith has healed you. But Jesus strikes in the very core of all the paralysis of our human life, and that is a life of sin. And thus, Jesus, who knew from the heart of each and every one of us, he said to this man, your sins are forgiven. I think this man who also picked his mat and his stretcher and walk is not just simply a liberation from his ailment, but a very symbolic rise from his life of sinfulness towards a freedom that he is able to find peace in his heart and was able to find the fullness of healing in his life. I think this is the message that the Lord Jesus Christ is trying to tell to the crowds who, in their very own heart, doesn't want to listen and are very indifferent of Jesus. They just wanted to see him fail, but Jesus knows their hearts. Jesus taught them that the greatest healing of all is to be freed from all forms of sinfulness. Today, we also celebrate the memorial of Saint Junipero Serra, a priest from Mallorca, Spain, who came to the United States and become a missionary, established the nine missions, and was able to baptize 6,000 natives. 
Father Junipero Serra, I was able to um, take a pilgrimage on the mission stations in California and it was truly very meaningful to see the early stages of evangelizations in the country. Father Junipero Serra was canonized a saint by Pope John Paul II and Pope John Paul himself has said that Father Junipero Serra's example has truly laid forth the foundation of our faith in our own very lives. We can just simply imagine one small seed of faith could even grow even to our times today. May the efforts of our fathers who evangelized us through faith, who have laid down their own lives for the seed of faith to grow, may in our own lifetime now, faith seekingly within ourselves, how can we also become great evangelizers for the world as well? With all the trust of the paralytic, friends, let us now bring to the Lord the needs and miseries of the church and the world. <clears throat> that the church of God may be constantly at work in carrying out Christ's saving mission through the forgiveness of sins. Let us pray to the Lord. <clears throat> that priests who celebrate the sacrament of reconciliation may always show compassion and understanding to penitence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that we may always be ready to forgive others, realizing that this is the shared duty of all who follow Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that the sick and the handicapped may find comfort and hope in their suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That all those who have died may share in Christ's eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For Anne Bastier, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all the names and petition written in our book of prayers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Silently, we present our petition to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Special prayers of healing for John Kelly is also offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we Thank you for the forgiveness shown to us by your Son. May in turn show forgiveness to all who have offended us. Make our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> our offertory hymn is number 527. 527, The Supper of the Lord. Precious body, precious blood, seen as bread and wine. Here the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now. Cup of life is Share the supper of the Lord. This is a bread of God coming down from home, giving life. 
to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon our sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, on this feast day of your blessed Junipero Serra, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion may imitate what we now do to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, my. Sarah, you bid your church rejoice until you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints who sing the hymn of your praises without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, have heaven and earth are full. Of your glory, Hosanna, Hosanna in the heart. Yes, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. Hosanna in the heart. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took the bread and giving thanks and broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he did chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. of faith. 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and bury our bishop in all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Your blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, I'll be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, honored as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy be always free from sin and safe from all distresses we await, the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Dear friends, let us offer to each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
body of Christ. Amen. The 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 body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 God bless you always. As you go to the sick and the homebound, taking not only the sacrament we have celebrated, but also the word of God which you have heard, as well as the affection of this parish community, as for the prayers to those whom you have visited in return, go now with God's peace and blessing.
Let us pray. By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in the true faith, that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith of which a blessed Father Nipero Sara never ceased to labor, and for which he spent his whole life to Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Let us now kneel. sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Our Father, who art in heaven, how be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, honored as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, O praise and all thanksgiving be every moment I. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, O praise and all thanksgiving be every moment time. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be, world without end. Amen. We pray the adoration prayer. My Lord Jesus Christ, I believe that you are really here in this sacrament. Night and day, you remain here compassionate and loving. You call, you wait for, you welcome everyone who comes to visit you. I thank you, Jesus, my divine Redeemer, for coming upon the earth for our sake and for instituting the adorable sacrament of the Holy Eucharist in order to remain with us until the end of the world. I thank you for hiding beneath the Eucharistic species, your infinite majesty and beauty, which your angels delight to behold, so that I may have the courage to approach the throne of your mercy. I thank you, dear Jesus, 
for having become the priceless victim, to merit for me the fullness of heavenly favors, awaken in me such confidence in you, that their fullness may descend ever more fruitfully upon my soul. I thank you for offering yourself in thanksgiving to God for all the benefits, spiritual and temporal, which he has bestowed on me. Grant me the grace and perseverance in your faithful service. Amen. <laughs> 